now it's time to provide the skills and tools and if you notice here on my original website i have got html5 css3 elementor webflow and canva skills so let me take you back here after that simple if i click here and then instead of brand identity i'm going to type out html5 let's cross this out and if you click on edit element for this icon and from here i'm going to type out html just take a look we are seeing the icon now if i cross this out just take a look we have made the change same way you have to make the change for each one of these um, skills and tools okay so i'm going to keep this as it is i believe you got the idea how to make the change now let's go to work experience where i have added one work experience which is upwork so i'm going to make the change here click on edit element after that delete let's click on add new image then select the upwork logo or whatever logo you would love to use maybe your company's logo just take a look we have got this updated now you can simply make the change here on this senior visual designer i'm going to type out freelance web designer and i'm going to cross this out then select this text and I'm going to type out Upwork Inc. And after that, you can provide the address information of your business, which I would love to keep this as it is. Then change the date. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to make the change like, let's say, December 2020 to now. Okay and then you can provide update this one as well full time or whatever information you'd love to put so i'm going to delete all of the other rows from here which i don't need but if you need you can simply add the information by following the things after that we have got this testimonial section which is really easy simply click here change the name click here change the client title and then click here hover over and then click on edit element change these things for your use by putting your information so let me take the, keep them as there because these are really easy after that you have got pricing table where you can make the change as well simply select each one of these things let's say if i want to make the change on the name of this pack simply click here on edit element after that i'm going to type out beginners and let's say i want to make the change here on the pricing simple if i click on edit element I'll be able to make the change let's say 150 just as an example okay and then you can make the other change let's say if you want to make change on source file simple click here uh, hi there this is just for the example okay so simple you can make the change like this after that for these things or for these buttons you can simply click on edit element after that you can change the button text to hire me and then you can put the link as you can see from here i'm actually going to show you button icon you can add a button icon and then we have got button link so let me click on button link after that i'm going to provide my upwork profile so upwork this is my upwork profile i'm going to provide it new tab let's click on cross now if i visit this page in a new tab i'm going to cross this out if I take you here and let's click on this hire me button and just take a look whenever someone will click here they will be landed to my upward page right so simply you have to make the change on each one of these buttons all right guys so I believe you have got the idea how to make change on this field and if you want you can simply delete this whole things from here from your website if you want but I'd love to keep this so I simply have to click on this undo button right here okay